Nnin Owoto has, on Saturday, April 7, been suspended by two arms of the Igbo socio-cultural group Ohanis and Igbo, as the President General, as well as, his political brigade boys. This was disclosed in a press statement issued by the two arms of the Apex Igbo socio-cultural group, the Ohanese Youth Wing and the Ohanese Igbo Women Organization. Signatories to the statement are, President, Ohanese Youth Wing, Mazioka Chakwu Isagazoro, Secretary General, Ohanese Youth Wing, Mazioka Wunawi, National Pro, Ohanese Youth Wing, ENGR Abina Band, President General, Ohanese Igbo Women Organization, Chief Hun. This is, Kalista N. Adam Achukwu, in the press release, titled, Ohanese Youth Wing's Final Verdict on Chief Nni Nwoto's Ohanese and Igbo Sham Presidency, the group stated, with the seven-day ultimatum given to the embattled President General, Ohanese and Igbo Drive. Nni Nwoto, having expired and having had him instead of clearing his sullen hands from the weighty allegations of high-handedness and turning Ohanese and Igbo into a political appendage party for those that could pay and pick his greedy bills, the main issue why he was asked to clear his names, to even give an order that he has no constitutional rights to do calling for termination of leadership and elections into the youth and women wings for querying him for his gross antisocial behaviors. We, the well-meaning and rightly focused Ohanese Youth Wing, OYW, under the President General, Mazioka Chaku Isagazoro, having earlier on reaffirmed our confidence in our present executives, hereby, in a joint meeting with Ohanese and the Igbo Women Wing, led by Lolo Kalista Adamachukwu, as well-guided Igbo citizens having realized that Dr. Nni Nwoto has become Izan Yaguana that already crossed the Rubicon of ideological clarity and seemed irretrievably given to dancing naked at the market square with fasces infested cloths. See our initially catalogued Nwoto's constitutional breaches in online and print media, hereby reaffirm our faith the service and glory of Igbo Nation. Therefore, we will no longer have drive. Nni Nwoto to continue doing his ignoble businesses with Igbo identity and political interests, hereby arrive at the following decisions as advised by the seven-man investigation committee that Nni Nwoto failed to appear before to clear his names, which he bluffed, that, we the Ohanese Youth Wing, OYW and Ohanese Women Wing had for so long tolerated the shameful and debased politics of Chief Nni Nwoto led Ohanese and Igbo, while he sidelines the various organs of Ohanese and Igbo including Imeobi and his 24-man and led EXCOS that are there to represent their various localities and states and having relegated them to the backgrounds to getting little or no attention from their respective state, socio-cultural and political constituencies, and charters of offices and demands. We hereby find Nwoto loathsome and guilty of anti-Igbo politicking and badly moneyed Igbo polity or character that, in the first circumstance had no role for political and social services not just in Digbos. Having failed to appear before the seven-man panel to clear himself of all the weighty gross breaches of office and constitution of Ohanese and Igbo, we take the investigative panel submission that by so doing he seems to have nothing to prove wrongs as catalogued against him by Ohanese Youth Wing, Chief Nni Nwoto is hereby suspended and should not be seen around Ohanese and Igbo Secretariat nor operate by proxy. He remains suspended. Having seen Chief Nni Nwoto wanting in character, intelligence and public image making befitting the Igbo's apex body Ohanese and Igbo, and holding vital evidences on how he have been collecting and hunting for monies at the expense of the Igbo nation, Biafra and Nigeria plights, from one government house to another and as well with Nwoto being at the becks and calls of the money bags, politicians, doing errand boy Ohanese presidency. Nwoto remains suspended. That Nni Nwoto occupies the vintage Ohanis and Igbo presidency and still talking from both sides of his mouth to soiling the preeminent Ohanis concept, not just Ohanis and Igbo, leading to our earlier calls for him to give accounts of his stewardship but he instead of taking the ample opportunity to clear his mess, took to media charades announcing that Ohanis youth and women wings were long suspended and there would be elections for the new leadership to pilot their affairs. Nwoto remains suspended, assuming without conceding that there are no functional Ohanese youth and women wings while we have Nwoto's almighty Ohanese and Igbo as made known to the media by the non-functional, but now politically romanced and activated, Secretary General Ohanese and Igbo, Mazi Uche Okwukwu, whose names have been missing in Ohanese records of Secretary General duties courtesy of Nwoto's both in media league lights, and host of vital Ohanese activities and policy statement, to now alleging that Ohanese youth wing and women wing have respectively ceased to to exist nor have leadership since 2016 and 2017 is a bad tales in their mouth telling well that what we have is Ohanese and Igbo, not for the Igbos but for the conmen and political misfits if not a one-man, Nwoto's, show.
Nwoto remains suspended, that Nwoto's Ohanese and Igbo misrepresented are now calling for elections in both Ohanese youth and women wings with promising threats of selling forms to gullible aspirants is another political mischief showing gross case of maladministration and intolerance of opposing views with the sole intent to dismember the youth and women wings, more. While this remains condemnable, we shall resist this Nawoto's sham with the last drops of our bloods till Ohoni Zendi Igbo is rescued and reorganized with the National Acting Steering Committee in charge and we call upon the Igbo leaders of thoughts especially the matured minds and notable Imeobi, Ohoni's leaders namely Professor Ben Nuabwe's, Chief Mbazil like Amechi, Drive. Dozi Ikthi, Professor Amu Shazi, Dr. Kate Onwe, Chief Ralph Obioha, Chief Obian Waka, ENGR. Isaac Wau, Richard Ozobu, Rear Admiral Dubusi Kanu to come to Ohana's and Digbo's rescue retrenching on V, above.